Hey guys, in this tutorial, I will show you how I generally rig my low poly models in Blockbench. I have rigged enough models that I think I would be able to teach you guys how to easily do it for your own projects. Here, I have prepared a simple model to rig. I have named the meshes for it to not get too confusing. The first thing that I always do is to put all the characters' meshes into one folder. In Blockbench, folders act as bones when you are rigging them in the animation tab. It makes the meshes inside it to be able to move and rotate it. When I make models, I usually just model a piece of the things that can be duplicated and flipped later, such as the arms and legs. It is so that the duplicated arms and legs would have the same rig properties of its other side counterpart. So in this tutorial, I deleted the right arm and the left leg of the simple model. Now, to have a working rigged arm, you would have to first put it in its own folder. As you can see, the arm now is able to be rotated and moved. However, it is not moving like how a real arm should. To fix this, you first have to select the folder and then click on the center pivot on the bone window at the top right. This would put the pivot at the middle of the corresponding group of meshes. From here, you can adjust where the meshes would rotate using the pivot tool in the tools bar. The same can be done with the legs. It has to be in its own folder for it to be able to be rotated and moved. Remember, a folder within a folder would also move in relation to which folder it is within. This would be how we would rig the four arms, hands, and legs in the foot of our simple model. Also, it is a good etiquette to name your folder with the proper names. There were times when I had a lot of meshes in a project that it became annoying to finish since I did not properly name the folders. You may also feel overwhelmed when you rig models in Blockbench. This is completely normal, and I promise you that it gets easier as you keep on practicing. What I did for the arms is what I also did with the legs. Once you are able to fully familiarize yourself with how to rig the arms, then you would definitely be able to do the entire model. It is because it follows the same technique and rules. It becomes simpler the more you do it. Now that we both have a fully rigged arm and leg, we will duplicate it and flip it to the other corresponding sides. You will see here that the duplicates of the rigs we made for the arm and leg would also have the same pivot points as the original one. I do this in order to save a couple of hours. Of course, the arms are attached to the chest, and the legs are attached to the pelvis. To do this, we must first create new separate folders for the chest and pelvis. After doing so, you can now click the arms and legs folder and drag it into the corresponding folders. Then, the same processes can be done for the neck and head of the simple model. After doing all of this, you will end up with a model that is fully rigged and without any problems. You would be able to pose your models with ease. As I am editing this video, we have reached the 1000 subscriber milestone. I want to thank you all guys, as none of these would be possible without all of your support. I am truly grateful for what the channel has achieved. I hope this tutorial helps you out with the rigging process of your own models. See you guys in the next video.